Honestly, they're like magic shoes. So what's not to love? New shoes, that new shoe feeling. Let's see what they're like, shall we? Exciting times. Makes a change. This is my first actual black box from Nike. Because normally I get the orange one, um, especially when I got the, uh, the Tempo Next for Sense. So let's see what they're like. It's always exciting, isn't it? Wow, look at those. Stunning colour, white sole, very light. Me likey. So I'm not going to go into all the stats and stuff like that because, you know, these shoes have been out for some time. You know, these are the uh, next percent ones. Um, someone asked a question on uh, Seth's channel. What would you go for? 30% off these and get them at 167 or get the uh, the twos at 209 and his answer was to obviously to go for these. So initial thoughts, like the look of them, white sole, eh, maybe it'd been better in black, I don't know, but you know it's different. I just wanted to go for a colour that not everyone else has got because everyone obviously goes to the bright colours. The material, obviously it's got the padding, but it's a little bit weird. I just assumed it was going to be very similar. I suppose it is a little bit similar, but it's just a bit more flexy and crinkly. These are the uh, Zoomfly SPs. Um, and so I thought it'd be pretty similar. I know these um, haven't got a full carbon plate in, um, but they've got a little bit of padding there, and obviously these have as well. These feel a lot, lot lighter. And you know, these are a good shoe. So, um, these are my first full carbon plate shoe. Yes, I also own the Tempo Next Percent, but they're just an infused carbon shoe. These are the BRS version. It's a nod back to Nike when they first started because they were originally known as Blue Ribbon Sports. So it's always good to get a... This is not a limited edition, but I've only just noticed actually that all the pattern is actually BRS. Isn't that weird? I've never noticed that. That's quite a cool, cool little design. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for, get changed, go for a run in these. Obviously first I need to make sure they fit, get some shots um, so you can obviously see them on the move. Um, just probably put five miles in them and then maybe tomorrow, uh, but not maybe, definitely tomorrow, going to use them on the track. Um, we've got eight times 800, so it'd be good to put them through their paces. Um, but I'll just give you my initial thoughts after we've been on the run. All right, let's go. So just back from the run, well firstly they fitted, which was obviously a good start. Um, initial impressions, very comfortable to wear, um, but walking had an annoying squeak. I don't know what that was about, but when you're running you don't hear that. Um, walking in them, more stable than the Tempo and X percent, which obviously feel a bit wobbly. Um, but running in them, in these two, very similar, not much in it, kind of feel wise. If you are obviously running slower and more than the heel, yes, these are a bit softer uh, because of the Zoom X rather than the kind of um, React in the back of these. Um, and I, I was kind of running them thinking, can I feel the weight? Not really. Yes, these do feel a little bit lighter, but I, I don't notice the weight a great deal. And so I was doing the kind of flyby shots and, and running past and obviously look, trying to concentrate on my style. Didn't feel a great deal of difference, but when I started kind of doing some sprints, Wow, 
what a difference. You know, you can really get the power down in these because I ran the Tempo Next Percents on um, a mild time trial. And to be honest, they, I struggled to get the kind of quick power down. Um, I did look at some stats comparing these to the, um, the Zoom Fly SPs, which I showed earlier. And I get an extra 10 centimetres in my stride. So th these are probably good for, yes, training runs. And they'll probably be good for a half marathon or, or a marathon because they're obviously bouncy and they save your legs because of the pods. Um, these are a bit noisier. These are noisy, but not as noisy. But as I said, once I started putting the pace down, I was running at 640 mile pace and it actually felt, I would say, steady. And when I mean by steady, I don't mean that I'm running at my tempo pace, I don't mean I'm running at my threshold pace. As I was running along, I saw some cars kind of going beside me and I thought, oh, I'll just try and keep them. And then I was running at 520 pace, you know, only for probably about three quarters of a mile and then just kind of finished off the rest of the mile, which in my road is, is up a massive hill and then kind of run home and then run the last mile in 6.19. So effort-wise to pace, there's a massive, massive difference between these two. As I say, it just felt like I just wasn't putting in the effort. Um, the lockdown was good. Didn't have to mess around with that. Um, the only thing you have to do is obviously make sure the tongue's in straight, but I'm used to that. Same as my Zoom Ply SPs. There was no slippage. Um, come up true to size. All my Nikes are a size 11. Um, except for my uh, Wild Horse 6s, which I tend to go half size up on trail shoes because I, I was always recommended to do that and that seems to work well. But I'm looking forward to taking these on the track tomorrow and 100% going to be wearing these in the London Marathon and my next half marathon, which is in mid-June. So should you go and buy these? Well, I think the Nike sale is the last day today, the 26th uh, of, of May to get 30% off. So if you can, grab yourself a bargain. These are literally magic. And, you know, for my first carbon plate shoe, no, I can't feel a massive difference between a fused carbon plate and a carbon plate, but they seem to keep me up on my toes more. You know, I mentioned before that, you know, I've got a bit of a wear on these towards the back. But these, I don't know, when you run, you just want you to be on this bit because you'll see the drop. And so... Really looking forward to testing these out on a race. Let me know what you think of these um, and also what sort of mileage to get out of them um, because, you know, these are an older shoe, been out a little while. I know they've got the same um, same sole as the newer ones, but it just, it's just interesting to know and your thoughts on them. Anyway, I will stop rabbiting and I will speak to you tomorrow. Onwards and upwards. Cheers.